seven years after his own debut film, Tyler Perry looks to expand his empire behind the camera. You're watching Beyond the Trailer's review of Peoples. Grace, it's been a year. It's time I met your folks. We have been through this. Daddy would pick you apart. Share the chocolate Kennedys. What are you doing here? I thought Saturday was the big proposal day. She can't make a move without daddy, you know? Look, you are just as good as him. I mean, maybe not as good, because he's a federal judge, but, you know? Every guy has an idea. You know, maybe I should just go out there to propose in front of everybody. Of how meeting the family should go. This isn't it. <laughs> Don't run. You're going to set off his instinct to mate. <laughs> Perry is one of the most prolific filmmakers in the industry, having made 13 films since he broke into Hollywood with Medea's family reunion in 2006. And he's showing no signs of slowing down, with a Medea Christmas coming out later this year and Single Moms Club hitting theaters next year. Yes, Tyler Perry is a one-man band who's given countless opportunities to black actors where few existed before, and who's elevated black films to a level of success they've never seen before. And as other filmmakers like Tim Story with Think Like a Man are beginning to follow in Perry's footsteps with great success, Perry is now looking to break new ground. First it was in the action genre with Rob Cohen's Alex Cross, and then into the thriller with his own Temptation. And now he's backing new filmmaker Tina Gordon Chisholm as she tries to pull off a Hollywood staple, the slick, commercial, mainstream romantic comedy. Chisholm got her start as a screenwriter with Drumline and ATL, apparently picking up a few tricks along the way. For her directorial debut, she's picked a stalwart Hollywood location, The Hamptons. For her cast, she's picked a hot Hollywood starlet, Carrie Washington, from Django Unchained and ABC's popular soap, Scandal. Chisholm also has her up-and-coming sitcom star, The Office's Craig Robinson, who also co-stars in the summer's This is the End, opposite Seth Rogen and James Franco. And finally, she has her seasoned pro in Living Colors, David Alan Greer. But while she has all the ingredients, can Chisholm mix them correctly? Perry obviously believes she can, and so does longtime Perry distributor Lionsgate. In fact, they're so excited for Peoples, and for you to get excited, that they've given me a goodie bag to give away. So write your craziest family story in the comments down below, and I'll pick one at random from a BTT subscriber to receive all four Peoples movie posters, a t-shirt, and a tote bag. Now, how's the movie? So in the opening, I said the big question here was whether or not Tyler Perry and Tina Gordon Chisholm could pull off that slick, glossy, romantic comedy that so typically comes out of Hollywood. And I think they totally do. In fact, I think they nail it. And the result is something that could be a box set with movies like The Proposal and Meet the Parents, which is great because I think Tyler Perry's films up until this point, you know, I've seen Medea Goes to Jail and Medea's Witness Protection, and they're really wonderful films, but I think they're, they're a little bit of niche films. They go in a certain category, they appeal to a certain audience, and they very clearly seem like they're made outside of the Hollywood machine, which is great. I think that's what's lent them a certain charm. But to see Perry grow as a producer and Tina Gordon Chisholm just, you know, her, in her first debut, really really knock it out of the park into into joining the Hollywood machine because I know that's been a sticking point for Perry that you know he wants to be he wants to be part of the Hollywood machine and I think here he totally is I think the performances across the board are wonderful really every, everyone just everyone pulls together for I think a, um, a flawless seamless performance I was really impressed so not only did I like that aspect of the film but the other thing that I really admired about it and enjoyed was that it was very it was a colorblind film uh, it has, you know, of course, you know, I, it does, I wouldn't say it's whitewashing these characters, but, you know, it's meant to appeal to any ethnicity, uh, audience-wise, but also within the film. I think that, you know, even though it's an all-black cast, uh, that doesn't really hit you when you're watching it. And, you know, it, nothing's ever made about that in the movie. That's not like a subplot, you know, does it, do they not fit into the community? The peoples are a fixture of the Hamptons in the film. It's never questioned, it's just a fact. And the humor, you know, the humor comes from Craig Robinson just trying to fit in with them, like any son-in-law would with, would with his prospective family members. So I actually recommend the uh, peoples to, to anyone. I think it's a great, great, brilliant counter-programming for the summer. Uh, you know, you could rent it, I think it would make a fantastic rental. But if you're somebody who enjoys romantic comedies and you do like The Proposal and you did like uh, Meet the Parents, I think you can totally go out and see Peoples uh, this weekend or this summer and you'll think you'll have a really good time. And I, really, hats off to the whole team. I think they really did a great job. And you know, I would, it's a family, I guess the highest compliment I could pay it is it's a family I'd want to, I'd want to revisit with. So that's my thoughts on Peoples. If you've seen the film, write your own thoughts down below. Be sure to check out my interview with David Allen Greer and Craig Robinson as well. There's going to be a link coming up in a second. And uh, thanks for watching. I hope you'll consider subscribing.